Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach about paragraph and how to work with paragraph. So, this is a paragraph toolbar where it consists of plenty of tools. We will see one by one. And this is called as bullet and numbering. This is multi level list. This is decrease alignment. This one is increase alignment. Sort and this is show and hide and this one is align text left shortcut is control L and this is center alignment shortcut is control E and this is align text right shortcut is control R and this is justify shortcut is control J and this is line and paragraph spacing and this is shading and this is called as border and this one is called as paragraph dialog box launcher let me see one by one so this is called as bullet and numbering multi level list this is decrease alignment this one is increase alignment this is sort this is show on height so align text left shortcut is control L align center control C shortcut this is symbol align text right Control R, this is a symbol. Justify Control J, this is a symbol. Line and paragraph spacing, this is a symbol. And sharing, this is a symbol. And border, this is a symbol. And paragraph dialog box launcher, this is a symbol. Mm -hmm. If you click this paragraph dialog box launcher, you can able to see this window. This is a paragraph dialog box launcher or paragraph dialog box where it will be having two tabs indents and spacing line and page breaks and where it will be having general option indentation and spacing we will see one by one I am going to use Microsoft Word 2010 for showing an explanation how to use paragraph so here comes your paragraph toolbar first is in bullets ok we will see here I'll be using some content about Microsoft Word paragraph and these are the paragraph options right when to use bullets whenever you are you want to express your ideas in a clear view you are allowed to use bullets so whenever you want to use bullet select the area region you wish to have bullets and go for bullets and these are the bullets where we can able to select anyone as we like select it yes and if you want to move it here is on decrease alignment here is the increase alignment we can able to move the bullets as we like either left or right so increase in decrease alignment and if you can have some other bullets yes you can change the bullets or else if you want to define new bullets yes you are welcome you can do that go to symbol click it and select any one of the symbol as you like press ok and ok so the symbol will be changed so this is how we want to use the first option bullets I am going to undo this okay and next we are going to see numbering so if you want to give numbers one two three maybe whatever numbers so these are the some predefined formats either you can use any one of the predefined formats like this one two three yes you see or else if I want to change this select like this or else you need ABC yes you are allowed or else if you I want to customize it yes you are allowed for example I want to start starting number should be at 15 how to do this yes here is the option click right here and go to set numbering value change the number value to 15 so now from 15 the number will start this is how you want to change it or else if you want to change the list level like this you can select the order or else if you want to change the defined 
new number format yes you are allowed to define the new number format for example yes press ok so you can able to have a customized number format like this so these are the ways in which we can able to use numbering moving on to the next option multi level list so what is a multi level list so if you are having heading another inside another heading we used to say and sub heading how to do this so select the region where you are going to implement this multi level list select the list and choose any one of this option as you like and if you want to have a multi level list you select this region area and go for increase alignment see and now if you want to have a different multi level list we select a different one 1.1 right and then and see so this is how we can able to change the multi level list yes so this is how we can able to have multi level list i'm going to undo everything and next comes your sort how to sort how to perform sort okay i will explain so for this i should have some numbers so i'm going to have uh, some numbers like uh, 1 3 1 3 5 7 9 10 2 4 6 8 10 if i want to sort this select this area go for sort here as a paragraph as a numbers either ascending or descending order ascending you see the numbers will be sort if you want to go to sort in descending order yes you are allowed to sort by descending order so this is how we can able to use ascending or descending order likewise so this is show on height yes is used to show the space and he enters in which we have used in our document and next comes your alignment part so this is a left alignment this is a center alignment and this one is a right alignment and this one is a justify we can able to customize the document as we like so first one is in left alignment and second one is in center alignment and third one is in right alignment and we'll make a copy of this for next alignment and let it be the last will be justify so first one is a left center right last is a justify so this is how we can able to have it so i'm going to have as a justify shortcut is control j so select this justify justify all right you select this and go for justify okay fine now we are going to see line spacing you can increase or decrease the line spacing by using this option that is a line and paragraph spacing either the line 1.5 or 2.0 see the space between the line can be increased either you can use any one of this value as you like based upon your specification or else here is a line and spacing option here you can able to give or how much space before or after the line and single 1.5 w double at least exact multiple so this value you can able to specify as you like based upon your specification once you do this here you can able to see these changes as per your parameters this will change 
or else if you want to go for first line yes you see the first line it's little more so this is a first line alignment and uh, if you want to give color shading yes you can give colors and shading for each paragraph so this is how we can able to give shading if you want to give borders for example if I want to give border for this yes you can give border if you want to give border select the area give border and if you want to give border for this select the area you give border and if you want to give border for this select this area and give a border so this is how we can able to give borders for a paragraph and last is a paragraph dialog box launcher you click it here comes the paragraph dialog box launcher and here is a alignment justified outline level set a body text if you want to do some indentation you give the values and if you want to move the first line by 1.5 you give the values and line spacing here you want to give value single or double so according to that here the values will change and this is how you want to use the tools in paragraph I think you may enjoy this way video thanks for being with us thank you